Alright guys, this is Token, another Minecraft video. You heard it, and today, this is episode 30 of Dockham 77's new Minecraft World Tour. Ah oh yeah, and we got some blocks rendering there. And there. Yeah, talking about loading chunks in, guys. Well, as we all know, and as you can see, I'm in beta 1.8 at the moment. We were caught by surprise by the quick su succession, you know, of updates that were announced. Now 1.9 pre-release is out and maybe even 1.9 at the m time when I released this episode. And shortly after that, there will be 1.10 or 1.10. So, you know, constant updates coming. And, well, guys... Oh, I see a skeleton down there. What is he doing? Let me... Did I hit him? Oh, come on. Maybe that's a achievement. Yeah, and by the way, when I installed pre-release 1.9, talking about achievements and stats again, my stats get erased. I um, opened the world again and I pressed... E for my inventory and I got um, yeah achievement uh, inventory opened and blah 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 so again I don't know why that happens I did nothing wrong um, I have backup so I can kind of restore it but it really sucks uh, yeah but yeah what I wanted to say guys um, as you see around me there are chunks created and you know we went back there in 1.8 in that direction exploring and we found the village so I was doing some research and I read that the NPC villages that are in 1.9 which are doing nothing at the moment um, won't be in such a village that is created in 1.8 so we're in a freaking dilemma and it doesn't help us at all to have a <laughs> deserted village so guys what I want to do and I'll probably end up doing that for the next few weeks or something until we finally get uh, a release uh, that will not change the biome generation algorithm and all that I will stay put I got a lot of things to do uh, around the perimeter here and I will try to tackle that after that when you finally know what's going on I will use a tool maybe MC edit, edit or other tools that are out there and I will erase the chunks that were created in 1.8 around the perimeter here and then we can go exploring again and you know um, newly create the chunks in the new update this is uh, the way we can fix it and because yeah I really don't want to give away my world to a safe uh, save file this time you know I don't want to lose it um, so yeah I'm planning to do that so guys, um, I don't consider that uh, evil cheating or whatnot. It's just adopting the situation. It's nothing, you know, I can do. I mean, I, pl uh, I made this world and now updates are constantly changing that. And if I can't have all features, the world is useless, basically. So yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, in case of emergency, if that doesn't work then I'll just make another nether portal and go somewhere else. And that is the next question. What about the nether? You know I got my nether portal down there guys. So, do you have any knowledge if the new structures in the nether are in my nether now, you know, if I continue exploring or if I have to erase my complete nether as well. That won't be a big problem because yeah, I don't have much down there. So guys, let me know and I have to go to peaceful right now. Because uh, I will create a massive pile of lag down there again. Um, that is, for example, one project I need to do. I want to build a kill mechanism down there. And as you can see here, yeah, the Enderman griefed this block. That's what they did. That is, for some strange reasons, the drop is about 24, 25 blocks. They should die. Sometimes they survive. Um, because they, I don't know. You know, so I need to make a more reliable kill device down there. For now, I just used this drop because I wanted to do some testing. Um, also, I need to clean up the area here. I need to remove this dirt. I used, you know, to spread the grass down into the uh, butt switch array over there. 
and I also need to ha remove the scaffolding here, you know, that helped me build the birdcage. But for today, the project I want to do is I need the butt switch line over at the tree of life. Uh, in this area at least, because I wanna, yeah, I was thinking about my sleeping quarters, but by now I'd say we'll just head over there. By now the plan was to have a melon farm on top of the tree there. Because the sleeping quarters I might do somewhere else in another tree, especially dedicated uh, to sleeping. Um, <laughs> one thing as well, I checked it guys in 1.9, as water is leaking through the ceiling now, uh, you know, it, it. I have a dripping ceiling, water dr is dripping in, I mean, this is <laughs> not, sometimes, you know, why, why should gla uh, water drip through glass? It's, it makes absolutely no sense, you can see that there is glass and lava over there, on top of it, you know. So please, I hope in the real release water doesn't drop triple to through glass because <laughs> so that will turn all underwater bases into a hell. Oh, aha, uh -huh. oh ho. What do I see here? I see ender griefers are still in here. That is bad. That means, oh yeah, look, griefed a lot, bastards. That means there's not enough light in here. That means I have to throw down torches. And that means I have to fix that. Yeah. I think I'm going to get to that. You know, I got some stuff to do. Um, around here as well. If you go to my chests. Um, let me quickly check. You can see it, you know. Um, I placed them when there were the old chests. And down there you can see a lot of ugliness. <laughs> the clean stone or other stone that was here from the digging and I will uh, now make it look more pretty by taking some sandstone and I would love to hook up some glowstone behind this picture let me see gold I have there it is sand and sandstone this is my supplies of it right now I need to store away the stuff I have with me here I often have Oh yeah, look, this is for example a chest with signs. Sometimes I do produce them in advance and what was it? Yeah, here I got another goodie drawer with uh, yeah, more interesting stuff. Uh, but I still, ha I don't really have a uh, good structure in that place here. Yeah, but so this time I'm gonna put all my inventory, at least the stuff I don't need. No, I need that in there. I sometimes do it like that, you know, um, just put the full inventory here. I will store the ender pearls I gathered, you never know. Um, I might burn some of them lately or later. Okay, I'll keep that and hot. That I'll keep, redstone, keep the pistons, some food, that stuff goes away. The bones as well. Never, you never know. All right. Now I need to craft me or get me some of the sandstone. Yeah, I got some. Alright, and I will start, you know, cleaning up the place and make those things look better. Do I have a shovel with me? No, I had some. Alright, yeah, I will do that, guys, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just found out something. You know, I can't can't dig out the dirt here so I have to remove either the chests and if they're empty um, that's not a biggie or if there's not much in there as in that one but here that is full of redstone for example and it's a huge pain to move it all over so yeah I kind of need to dig around of yeah those things a bit and replace it from like this Oh man, this is gonna be. Yep. <coughs> All the small things. But details are important. And yeah, I can do it from here. <laughs> oh man, man, man. This is gonna turn into a bigger endeavor, it looks like. Alright. Yep. 
Yep, but looks way better now. Let's put our floor back down. Okay. Yep, that looks okay now. Hopefully, oh my god. Okay, here it's gonna be no problem. Here as well should work. Okay. Yep, so I'm gonna do that for all the chests and then we'll continue. Okay guys, that's done. It was a 20 minute job, so quite a pain. I have to dig it all out. Oop, there's some missing. Yep, my pickaxe will be gone any minute. And then I'd say, let me have a look. Yep. Alright. Ah, there I forgot something as well. It's gotta be flawless. Those are those minor details, but they're important. You know, can't be any flaws. Alright. So looking good. Now I need to do something. I had some glowstone in here, I believe. Where was it? Somewhere. Yeah. What else do I have in here? Okay, lots of lava buckets still. Some diamond. I might take three with me to make me a new pickaxe. Diamond is here. I got some over there. Yeah, it's slowly, I need to get more diamond. Um, I o I often use uh, diamond tools. Uh, you know, I'm not a, a fan of storing diamonds away. Uh, the, <laughs> the thing is, we're searching diamonds uh, so we can use them. And what I want to do now is get rid of the picture here. And I will try to, yeah, there we go, put some glowstone behind it here, so it looks more bright. Uh, there we go, pickaxe gone, good timing with the new one, yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this trick, you know, you can go remove the area and I think how big is this thing was it yeah it was that big there you go and then you just put glowstone there and that will really make the painting more brighter with the new lighting it's kind of weird um, glowstone is not really glowing anymore I mean it's it's giving away light but it's not really glowstone like I don't know and now yeah there's a it's gonna take some time oh god why did it fly all over here okay I'm gonna try to get my painting back the only way to do it is trial and arrow like this oh no that's wrong <laughs> whoa Okay, now, what is that? That's the painting, but it's completely... What is that? What was going on? Yeah. I'm gonna try my best getting my painting back. And then we'll see how it looks now. Alright? Ha! And I got it. Took two minutes. So it's doable. In case you wonder, you know, if you're using my texture pack, how you're gonna get that picture. It's in there, you have to try. And after a while you will get it. Alright, let's have a look. Yep, looking better now. So, now to the next task. Over there, um, there was the area that was obviously grieved by Enderman here, there. So that means they... what? Chicken? What? Where is that? 
Here? How do... How do you get in here? Oh, and ah, if I see the floor here... This is one thing I wanted to do for quite a while, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also need to make the floor look nicer, but I will do that off camera. This is a longer job. I need to take out some water to make it easier. Alright, back to topic. So here they were able to grieve. That means they spawned in here. So it's still a bit too moody. That means we're gonna use some more torches in here. That can't hurt. Here and around the painting a bit. Uh, I need to change my lighting for a second. That is also something with the new lighting. You know, uh, earlier days before the new lighting system, we were able to tell from the just from the looks, you know, if it was too dark or not. So those corners look a bit dark, right? So I'm gonna put some torches down. Those corners. Here there is enough light. Yep. I'd say that is okay. Yep. Much better now. Mm -hmm. It was not that big of a pain actually. Just had to remove this water stream here, and the rest was quick. Also saw that they placed a block here, those ender griefers. There, I removed it. Now, I'd say we head over to the morning wood, and we'll have a quick look um, where I want to put down the redstone line for the butt switch array. So it's connected to the morning wood area. And yeah, I have my centralized butt switch where I control everything, you know, all over the place. What's the plan with that thing? I'm on the last episodes. Um, I saw some comments saying, yeah, dude, but ESO's butt switch, it was way more compact. It was like, it's crap. <laughs> it's, the thing is, ESO's butt switch is only one um, butt switch. You know, the array I showed you um, are five butt switches in one, so sure, it's still ESO's single butt switch, but five of them, and the reason for that is because it becomes way more sensitive then, you know. By having many of these uh, hooked up together, um, you as soon as yeah, a grass patch spreads, the thing activates, and you have five of them, so the chances are way higher. And in fact, as it is five butt switches, um, connected, it's a fairly uh, compact design GL made there. So yeah, talking about GL, he's had a cool design lately of a very complicated fully automated melon farm design. Um, when I say fully automated, I say, uh, I mean, it is, yeah, it, it, it is a cool setup. You don't have to retill the earth, but it's complicated. I will try it out. Maybe I'll uh, build that off camera and show you. Um, if it works, you know, if it's not worse, well, yeah, well, I'll build it anyway. I'll try it out. So, okay, first of all, I got some wains hanging down here. I planted them a while ago and I wanted to see how they spread. Um, also, I got them from my adventures in episode 26, I believe, when we checked out 1.8 content. And also, I want to put down the redstone line here. You can see it over there. There's the stone, I marked it out, so um, we're gonna have some kind of a maintenance area somewhere down there below, and then we will be able to, you know, work with the redstone from there. So, next up, digging this tunnel. Um, basically, what I wanna do, I'd say we quickly run into the butt switch array, and then we'll have a look. Should have brought a boat. Always, where's the boat? Ah, there it is. It was here. Mm -hmm. Always the boats are gone. Quite familiar feeling. Oh, and my mushroom biotope. I need to remove it. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the. Oops. To the entrance here. Always use ladders for such entrances, that's cool. And by, by now the grass has spread all over the place. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
you know I actually only had the grass attached to the uh, blocks here you know to make the detection work and I think either here or on the other side there was one dirt block and from that the grass was spreading down here and now I got a underwater grass area pretty cool and when I'm here I see another thing here I definitely need to close off the area so no squids can be caught in here that is a problem I need to do that yeah here we got the redstone line so yeah not quite sure where I wanna take it from maybe I'll just yep yeah. I'll probably branch off here go into the wall where's my shovel and like this this is the exit yeah it's gonna need quite some redstone but I got a lot as you saw and then I'm gonna work my way around this is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay ah it's night but switch activated ten so okay at least thirteen or something blocks out four okay guys I'm gonna do the tunneling here and when I'm done with that I'll get back to you yeah guys I'm right in the middle of the tunneling project and I want to show you some footage uh, from it uh, in case you wonder where I do get my sandstone and sand from well there you got your answer I mean I told you the area around and inside the perimeter is um, yeah really sandstone heavy and whenever I do digs like that you know and or tunneling or whatever I come across huge amounts of uh, sandstone you know it's easy to gather um, sometimes it's a pain as you can see here the sand is falling down and then well I have to dig it out and even out the floor again and yeah I use whatever material I have with me at that moment and you can see there's a lot of sandstone so as I said I'm not a big fan of yeah I believe that they're dedicated mining and whatnot I'll just you know most of the time when I do yeah, building projects I gather the materials on a side you know here there's all sandstone I replaced some back there already so you know I'll pr probably leave that here for now I got some sandstone on me and there will be more all right so I'll keep on digging another advantage you know from you know I could go deeper down you could say that and it would be easier to do the uh, digging around here but you know an advantage is I can always go up quickly through the floor and check where I'm at and this is the wall around the perimeter so I know somewhere up there already there's the morning wood so we're getting close mm. Oh, 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 yeah, you need to be careful not to suffocate, but other than that, so it's, it takes a bit longer and as you see sandstone all over the place. I need to clean the floors and soon I'll be reaching the morning wood. Yeah, right now we're breaching the perimeter wall and I saw out here there's even more sand. Um, I scouted the area. There seems to be a, there's a, a huge uh, sand pile right on top of me, you know. And yeah, I know the trick with the torches, <coughs> or you know, to break the sand and instant gather it. But ah, <laughs> hello, yeah. But you know, guys, I like it. You know, I like to dig around. I like to, yeah play the game take my time you know sometimes you know I play highly efficient and I play fast but you know it's really nice to be down here peaceful and quiet <laughs> no enderman getting on my nerves and I need to make sure to put down enough lighting along the way and some more sandstone in the floor yep so this is you know how I plan out my builds. You can see um, by now I gathered 
a lot of uh, another additional and a half stack of sandstone I believe since when I started and some more sand so yeah and just imagine you know the, the digging I did for the squid farm it is a way bigger project and let a, a, alone from that I get a tons of sand so this is why I use a lot of sand around here because it is the resource that is first of all looking good you know I like the looks of sandstone but secondly you know I can <laughs> gather it really really easy and it's something different than clean stone or cobblestone so I think that solves that and I will keep on digging and try to make to find yeah to to count out some blocks on top and to locate a good area where we can have some kind of centralized hub for the butt switch line here. Okay guys, right now I've counted out some blocks and it's okay if you go this way um, the morning wood is yeah, it's about the middle of the morning wood. It do doesn't have to be completely exact. It just has to be in the area. What I did now, I went down a few blocks because yeah, I want to have a solid ceiling and I will leave that sandstone here, you know, because yeah, there's a huge pillar of sand on top of me and I don't want uh, that breaking in on me all the time. As you can see, there are also some other resources. So yeah, it's really worth your time, you know, if you, you know, if you want to hide some redstone and whatnot, do some tunneling, you know. On the fly you can get some some nice resources, you know. And yeah, it's it's nice, you know. So you, you save a lot of... Oh, did I just forget an iron there? Yeah. <laughs> Hawkeye. Alright. Some light... Oh, lots of iron. See, that's what I'm talking about. You get a lot of resources on the fly if you do tunneling all right that's it always make sure you know if you have some kind of mob traps close by and stuff uh, come on <laughs> if you have some mob traps <coughs> excuse me mob traps and stuff close by fill in the gaps or at least leave some torches or something you know and I will widen out that room a bit more that's enough. Don't get too greedy. Don't need a gigantic room here. All right, in that direction as well a bit. And then I will start to put down the redstone line. And as you see, some more sandstone. So, haha, <laughs> I will need that anyways. So that's good. All right, I think that's big enough and we will be able to have our centralized hub here. Let's throw down some torches, random care too much might clean out those walls here though so okay I'll uh, do the redstone line and I'll be back and clean the walls for sure okay guys the redstone line is done um, I just tested it it turned from night to day and I was putting down a sign back there so yeah first stirring away my resources and then starting to build so off was night and now it's daytime and it switched to on so the line works so we, now we got the centralized hub here and that is good and it works awesome and yeah I want to show you something really strange that happened when I came back with my boat so check it out what the bejizzle mizzle whistle what was that uh, I got my boat uh, back you know, riding, uh, riding back here with my resources I wanted to, to pick up. And then, you know, I thought, oh, come on, it's parked the boat here. So it's not gone anymore. It dropped down and I suddenly died. So it looks like it has accumulated some drop damage. And when I dropped with the boat now, I died. What was that? Hope I got all my stuff. But yeah. Uh, oh, there's some redstone. That was weird. Well, anyways, back to work. Okay, guys, I made it back to the perimeter here. I'm still collecting eggs ever so often. And still not sure, you know, about the breeding and stuff. Also, I'm having my melons here. And now, I'm, yeah, I can produce a decent amount of seeds with them. And what I want to do now um, is I'm going to go to my test world and 
JL. Um, he's in my box, you know, I will hook up a link to his um, video. Made a very cool fully automated uh, melon setup, a melon farm setup. You know, it retracts the, the soil and whatnot, really crazy, really cool, over complicated, but the uh, advantage is you don't have to re-till your earth, you don't need hose, you know, it's, it's yeah, fully self-sustaining, pretty cool, and I'm gonna try to replicate his setup from uh, the video he did, and I wanna check it out in my test room. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> Alright, so we're up on the zipper tower. And now I'm going to take a break in the world tour and go to my test world and I will give you a, a little insight there as well. Okie dokie guys, I made it. <laughs> was quite uh, yeah, some fiddling around until I had it right. But this is the setup I've been talking about. This is a design by JL, he's in my box and for sure I will provide a link to his video if you want to have a closer explanation and see what the thing can do, but, ah yeah, it just activated and it seems I made it wrong, I have it set up in the wrong orientation. You just saw it activate, that's pretty cool and now I can talk about the yeah what's important for that design. So as you just saw, it activated pumpkin grew but the earth uh, is yeah messed up and as JL says in his video, it only works if it's in the right orientation. So I know there is east, the sun went up there. So if there is east, we got west here. Um, so yeah, um, there is north and there is south. So that means this thing is not in the right orientation. Um, this thing is facing north. So maybe, you know, I need to flip it around. So it's facing south. That is key for that design. I need to try it out and I will build it again and I will flip it around and see if it works then. But yeah, I will do more testing. You can check out JL's video and I'd say that's it for my testing here. And now let's go back to the world tour world for the final worlds, <laughs> worlds, words, words of this episode. All right. Yeah, guys. Now you saw it, the research I do. Um, give me your feedback about the setup of GL. Um, tell me if you like it. And oh, <laughs> yeah. Leg, the birdcage is uh, activating at the moment. But you know, it's only happening when I record. <laughs> Look, the water is freezing. Pretty cool. <laughs> when I play normally, um, there's no problem with that. It takes some time, but you can see it's working. Sun just went down, moon was rising, so that's why I made that very sensitive butt switch. It works very reliable. Yeah, so talking about that thing, we got the line over there right now, somewhere pretty close to the morning wood. And now the next task would be either to make the sleeping quarters or to come up with a cool melon farm design or, you know, try to make a cool melon farm. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Please, if you have cool melon farm setup send them as a video response you know I will auto approve all video responses as usual here on the world tour um, but please uh, try to stay yeah, in topic you know I'm looking for cool melon farm setups maybe you got some cool ideas uh, send them in please um, also um, keep in mind um, still there's a lot of uncertainty with all those updates coming basically on a daily basis so yeah um, I'd say quickly turn on some mobs that we get some action in the bird cage yeah guys I'd say um, I'll slow down the pace a bit you know I'll keep the world tour coming but I'll be more in that let's play style you saw today you know so not that huge progress but I want to make some progress I want to finish the area around here and be able to explore when we get the full potential of all the updates maybe even full release we will see guys okay so that's it for today. I hope you liked this more Let's Play-ish episode. I'm out. Bye bye.